What's good, Eternal fam? We're back. It is time to watch season seven of Game of Thrones. Y'all know how I felt about season six. Ooh! Happened. That thing was so good. Best season thus far. Best season of the series. So, season seven, season eight. Let's see what y'all got. I, the bar was set real high, especially with the last episode of, of, of season six. Woo, so good. So good. So let's see what we're getting ourselves into this season. The Nair is about to pull up to Westeros. Oh, shit is about to go down. Cersei is queen. Uh, I'm so excited. My body is ready. If you're ready, go ahead, grab your snack, turn me up, and let's jump into episodes one and two of season seven. Oh, this must be a flashback because we know he did. <laughs> <laughs> I've gathered every fray who means a damn thing so I can tell you my plans for this great house. First, a toast. Proper wine for proper heroes. Is this Arya with Walter Frey's face and she's poisoning all of them? Not you. I'm not wasting good wine on a damn This is woman. Arya. This is Arya. Oh my gosh. You're my family. The men who helped me slaughter the Starks at the Red Wedding. Yes! Dead. <laughs> you didn't slaughter every one of the Starks. No, no. Leave one wolf alive. And the sheep are never safe. Ooh. Yes, Arya. Take your revenge. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. When people ask you what happened here, tell them the North remembers. Tell them winter came for House Frey. Yes! Ah! Oh! Aria, she just took all your asses out, just like that. Intro. Hey. He made it to Castle Black. He's at the wall. This is Brandon Stark, son of Ned Stark. How do I know that's true? You were at the Fist of the First Men. You've seen the Army of the Dead. You've seen the Night King. He's coming for us. Hey, come on. He is the Chosen One! Well, the Ambers and the Karstarks betrayed the North. Their castles should be torn down with not a stone left standing. We should give the last hearth and car hold to new families. They've kept faith for generation after generation. And then they broke faith. I'm not going to strip these families of their ancestral homes because of the crimes of a few reckless sons. So there's no punishment for treason and no reward for loyalty. Oh, yikes. A little bit of tension. Give the castles to the families of the men who died fighting for you. Ooh, they're clashing. They like what Sansa's saying, but I don't know. You can't be coming for my boy John like this, blowing up his spot. But I will not punish a son for his father's sins. That is my decision, and my decision is fine. He is the king in the north. Sansa, you got to respect this, sis. Sit back. When you question my decisions in front of the other lords and ladies, you undermine me. But Joffrey never let anyone question his authority. You can't do it in front of everybody, Sansa. Like, what are you doing, sis? A raven from King's Landing, your grace. From King's Landing? Is this from Cersei? What does she want? Come to King's Landing, bend the knee, or suffer the fate of all traitors. Oh, Lord, Cersei. 
Everyone who's ever crossed her, she's found a way to murder. You almost sound as if you admire her. I learned a great deal from her. She is to be admired. I mean, Cersei is a bad bitch. <laughs> she cold. My sister's is cold as ice, and she gets what she wants in the end. So that ain't nothing to scoff at. The design of these ships is so cool, so intricate. You invited the Greyjoys to King's Landing. Oh, of course she's gonna team up with them. All they know how to do is steal things they can't build or grow themselves. Your own Greyjoy didn't come here for that. No, what did he come here for that? A queen. Wait, are they gonna get married? Am I crazy? Is that weird to say? They turned on me. Their own uncle. Murdering them would make me feel a lot better. But murder them together. The mountain got some new gear. I like it. With the Iron Fleet, you own the seas. What do you want in return? Ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to grow up and marry the most beautiful woman in the world. So here I am, with a thousand ships and two good hands. I decline your proposal. You're not trustworthy. You've broken promises to allies before and murdered them at the nearest opportunity. Cersei is smart! She is smart. I thought she was going to accept it. I thought that's what she meant before when she said that that's not what he was coming for. In my experience, the surest way to a woman's heart is with a gift. I won't return to King's Landing until I have that for you. It's got to be a person, right? Is it going to try to get Sansa or Tyrion? Is that going to be the gift? No. Yes, Pa, you better train. I hear Torment come to flirt with Brienne. <laughs> You're a lucky man. She's a very impressive woman. What do you want, Lord Baelish? Please, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> I want you to be happy. Uh, I want you to be safe. I am safe. What about happy? Why aren't you happy? Because you, you know keep you on have? talking to me. At the moment. Peace and quiet. Yes! <laughs> no need to seize the last word, Lord Baelish. I'll assume it was something clever. Sansa is eating these scenes up. Eating them. Lord Baelish, dismissed. Love it. For hands of gold are always cold. What is Ed Sheeran doing on this show? I am dead. What? This is the most random thing in the world. Are you hungry? We've got some rabbit. Who are these men? They look like they're with the Lannisters, based on the red of the burgundy. They'd skin you alive if they could make two coppers off your hide. Worst place in the world. And Ed Sheeran has lines. <laughs> Come on, actor. So why is a nice girl on our own heading to King's Landing? What is her story? I'm going to kill the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they? They said they're soldiers? So what house are do they fight for? This seems like a good place to spend the night. These people don't want us here. Is this the same house? This looks just like the same house that him and Arya went to when he left that man injured when they were the the uh the father and the daughter? Is that what this is? I don't like the look of it. That's why he doesn't want to go. That has to be it. Oh. Oh my gosh. They're dead. Oh my gosh. That is so dark. Oh my gosh. How do you think it ended for them? I'd say they were starving. And rather than let his little girl suffer, he ended it for both of them. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. I'm not sure that probably eats away at the hound a bit because he's a bit of a reformed man. A little bit, a little bit. Again, come over here. I want to show you something. Look into the flames. You saw me bring him back from the dead after you cut him down. Don't you want to know what gave me the power? Only the fire can tell you. What do you see? Fire. Logs burning. <laughs> Ice, a wall of ice. What? So he sees something? The dead are marching past. Thousands of them. He sees the White Walker army? What the fuck? Clegane? 
I did not anticipate that. At least more and more people are able to, at least more and more people know now that the White Walkers are coming. Because they finna pop up whether y'all like it or not. And just a... The Targaryens used dragonglass to decorate the weapons without even knowing what the first men used it for. Oh, so it was used as decoration? As a decorative element? Oh, what did you find? It's a map of Dragonstone. Or something. That's dragonglass. A mountain of it. Oh, is that Dragonstone? It's important. John needs to know. Look at that! <laughs> Ooh, that was scary as shit. I jumped on the inside. <laughs> Has she come yet? Who? Jora. Dragon Queen. Jora? How the hell did Jora get there? Yes, Queen. Oh, look at the band of bad bitches. Yes. It's these outfits for me. You're home. Welcome back, baby. This is yours, Qualisi. Wow. This is such an epic homecoming. Damn, it's a long way to walk. That's enough to prevent a war from happening. Like, that'll deter any enemy. All of them goddamn steps just to get there. Look at her throne! Oh, uh, yeah. The same room we were introduced to Melisandre in. Throwback. Ugh, these sets are so delicious. So good. Shall we begin? Oh my gosh, what an epic ending! <laughs> Uh, so good, so good. Uh, okay, before we move on to episode two, gotta say the season is off to a really good start. Um, of course, nothing like huge popped off in this episode. It's the first episode, but I'm so excited. Like it did, it accomplished its purpose like it fulfilled its purpose and just getting me excited for the season and what's to come especially that ending and there's just like so let's begin let's get started how the fuck do we take this shit back baby what throws is ours the seven kingdoms uh cersei being surrounded like cersei and the lannister army being surrounded by enemies and really being cornered in a way like they needed allies and so they called on Euron and the rest of the the great the Ironborn the rest of the Greyjoy army Ugh. so good so good Cersei as queen Death's kiss um that was fantastic Arya love seeing Arya uh that that opening was everything. Her posing as Water Frey and killing the army, everything. Can't wait for, until their bodies are found, or did their were their bodies already found? I think Jamie and Cersei talked about that potentially. So maybe um maybe their bodies were found. Clarify that for me in the comments um, if I missed that in the dialogue. But yes, that's fantastic. I love the dynamic between Sansa and Jon, like the, the conflict that's there of like. Sasa feeling like she has some some insights to offer, and she definitely does, uh, but she can't undermine John, especially when he's talking to all the other houses in the north. Like there needs to be a united front at least, and he has to be shown to be this really um, strong leader for them. So he can't be seen bickering with his sister about the, the plans, and he needs to really demonstrate that he is um uh, uh, a really a formidable leader for them so i like that a lot 
ran, made it to the wall. That was cool. That was a cool scene. So I wonder what's going to happen with Bran now that he's at the wall. And they're going to find out. Sansa and John are probably going to get a raven from Castle Black from the wall. Like, yo, your bro is here. That's going to be so cool. That's going to be a cool moment. Um, <laughs> just so many cool moments. I love it. Um, and then there's the Hound. Uh, I'm glad we got to see Cle Clegane again. Uh, and seeing just how far his character has come is so cool so cool like i see why people love him i wasn't as on board well i liked Clegane, but i will always i chose brienne over him because i mean to me it's obvious like brienne is clearly superior like i want brienne to survive over Clegane any day but if I don't have to choose, I want them both alive. <laughs> and uh, I just, I love seeing his character, how far he's come and, and his character arc has been really interesting and really cool to see how different he is compared to like when we first met him, how ruthless he, he was. Like, wow, that's amazing. That's really cool what they're doing with his character. Um, so yeah, a lot of really cool stuff introduced in this episode, and I'm excited to see where we go next. So without further ado, let's jump into episode two. We can take the Seven Kingdoms without turning it into a slaughterhouse. If the Great Houses support your claim against Cersei, the game is won. The Tyrell army and the Dornish on our side, we have powerful allies in the south. Oh, now you need a powerful ally in the north. Johnny boy. You served my father, didn't you, Lord Varys? And then you served the man who overthrew him. I had a choice, Your Grace. You turned against him. Robert was an improvement on your father, to be sure. He simply had no interest in being king. So you took it upon yourself to find a better one. Who gave the order to kill me? Ooh. King Robert. Who hired the assassins? I did what had to be done. To, to keep yourself alive. Ooh. Incompetence should not be rewarded with blind loyalty. This is some great writing. They got some good ass lines in here. If you demand blind allegiance, Grey Worm can behead me. But if you let me live, I will serve you well. I will dedicate myself to seeing you on the Iron Throne because I choose you. Say yes to Darius. That was such a good scene. Swear this to me, Varys. If you ever think I'm fading the people, you won't conspire behind my back. I swear it, my queen. Oh gosh, I hope you stick by your word, Varys, because you are one. This is a slippery slope here, boo. And I swear this, if you ever betray me, I'll burn you alive. A red priestess from Ashai has come to see you. Darius Dynamis. <gasps> Melisandre! She came to Dragonstone. She once served another who wanted the Iron Throne. We've just decided to pardon those who once served the wrong king. Uh, I love Daenerys as a ruler! Uh. I'm afraid I'm not a prince. The proper translation for that prophecy would be the prince or princess. And you believe this prophecy refers to me? I believe you have a role to play, as does another. The king in the north, Jon Snow. Ooh! <laughs> Summon Jon Snow. Yes! Jon Snow and Daenerys meeting? Oh my gosh. Everything is starting to come to a head. People are... Ah! Send a raven north. Tell Jon Snow that his queen invites him to come to Dragonstone and bend the knee. Mm. She made that very clear. It's gonna be a real cute and cordial gathering, but just so you, just so we're clear, it'll only end in one way: bend that knee, boo boo. And I will bend my knee in a second. You will remember the Mad King. His daughter is no different. We must stand together, all of us. If we hope to stop her. Cersei has a pretty compelling defense against Daenerys, to be fair. Like, she is the daughter of the Mad King. She has three full-grown dragons, Your Grace. How do you propose to stop them? We are currently at work on a solution, my lord. What solution? How are you finna stop dragons? You ain't got none of your own. The infection has spread too far. How long? Oh, gosh. For years before it kills you. Your mind? Six months. He looks so bad. Oh my gosh. He won't let it get to six months though. I feel like he's gonna end up taking himself out or something. Apparently, one of Daenerys' dragons 
was wounded by spears in the fighting pits of Miri. Finest art. Oh, so this is a weapon that can take out a dragon? If you kindly pull that lever. Okay, but you gotta have some pretty fierce aim to get to kill the dragon with that, right? We should hit King's Landing now, hard, with everything we have. We turn the dragons loose, tens of thousands will die in the firestorms. It's called war. Oh my gosh, it's so cool seeing all of these characters in one place. This is so amazing. I am not here to be Queen of the Ashes. We will not attack King's Landing. We will lay siege to the capital surrounding the city on all sides. The Unsullied will have another objective, Castle Rock. Grey Worm and the Unsullied will sail for the rock and take it. Castle Rock? Okay. Go for the big boys. Lady Elena, may I speak with you alone? I feel like Captain Tom like gonna go right at Castle Rock. I, I just, I want my Unsullied to be okay. I mean, you know what? We know that something is not gonna go right with some part of this plan. He's a clever man, your hand. I've known a great many clever men. I've outlived them all. You know why? I ignored them. Are you a sheep? No, you're a dragon. Be a dragon. I love that. Be a dragon. Daenerys has started to lose. I don't want to say she's losing her voice at all. She still commands. She has a commanding presence and she makes sure that she's not taking any shit from anybody. But with Tyrion as her as the hand of the queen, he is making a lot of these decisions in in a sense. You know, like he his recommendations are typically panning out to be what takes place. Is this is the plan in action. So it's interesting to see Lady Olena say, like, it's real cute that you got Tyrion and everything, but remember that. Before Tyrion came along, you was out here conquering all types of cities and villages. And so, like, I think that that's a really interesting, that's a really interesting story point. And I wonder where that's going to go. Because I feel like we're going to come back to that. Daenerys is going to start to take back some of her power a bit more and, like, make some of these decisions on her own and not solely seek. Tyrion's council. There are two recorded cases of advanced grayscale being cured. I found the procedure in the study of rare diseases by Archmaster Pylos. Shall I tell you how he died? In grayscale. The procedure's far too dangerous, which is why it's now forbidden. I'm sure Dora wouldn't mind trying it out for himself, though. If he's already going to die, like, how, more, how much more dangerous can it be than grayscale? You know? Especially if it takes your mind after an, just a couple of months. Might as well give it a try. Hello. Oh, is Sam gonna try to cure him on his own? I knew your father. I was with him when he died. You're not dying today, Sir Jorah. What is it? Rum. Drink it all, please. I'm afraid this is gone to hurt. Oh, gosh. What is he gonna do? <laughs> oh, Sam. Sam is so on. Oh, I love him. Oh, my goodness. Let him live until the end, please. Him and Gilly need to be the last remaining characters. Aunt Arya. Is he going to try to peel off the grayscale? And, ew, and then replace it with, like, some of that muddy ointment, whatever stuff? Oh, my gosh. I'm about to be so disgusted by this. I already know. Ew, ew. It looks so disgusting. Ew. Ew, we do not have to see this. I'm sorry. Game of Thrones writers, this is disgusting. We don't need to see this. Show me a head getting chopped off all day. Ew, that transition was disgusting. That was a disgusting transition. <laughs> Ew, y'all nasty for that, Game of Thrones. Harry. Hello, Hot Pie. Oh, Hot Pie. Did you meet the big lady? She was looking for your sister, but I told her about you. Did she ever find you? She found me. She's so focused now. Like, her entire demeanor and everything has changed. Like, look at her. She is just so determined. in for Winterfell. Why would I go without the Boltons, have it? No. The Boltons are dead. <gasps> She's gonna find the Boltons! John and him! 
Jon Snow came down from Castle Black with a wilding army and won the Battle of the Bastards. He's king of the north now. <gasps> Go north! Thanks for the pie. Can't believe I thought you were a boy. You're pretty. <laughs> yes, he is. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I love that. Take care of yourself, Hot Pie. Bye, Hot Pie. Try not to get killed. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, is Arya gonna... Let me not get excited. So there's no way that this season we see a reunion between Arya, Sansa, and Jon. No way. No way in hell. And if it is going to happen, it's not going to happen this episode. So I'm like, oh, let me stop. Let me not be too excited. I want to see it now. Lord Tyrion has invited me to Dragonstone to meet with Daenerys. And I'm going to accept. We need this dragonglass, my lord. Have you forgotten what happened to our grandfather? The Mad King invited him to King's Landing and roasted him alive. I know that. I remember the Mad King all too well. Oh, here we go. Targaryen cannot be trusted. Yeah, a Targaryen and a Lannister together. No one's gonna be right for that. None of you have seen the army of the dead. None of you. If you was at hard home, you would understand why this is do or die. I get their hesitations though, I really do. You're abandoning your people. You're abandoning your home. Okay, Sansa, you are, you can't be doing this in front of everybody. You are my sister. Until I return, the North is yours. Oh, shit. Kinda here for that. <laughs> Sansa, the Queen of the North. <laughs> we haven't ever talked properly. I have nothing to say to you. Not even thank you. You have many enemies, my king, but I swear to you, I'm not one of them. I love Sansa, as I loved her mother. That's right. Kill him. Kill him, John. Touch my sister, and I'll kill you myself. I know that's right. That's what. I, that's the energy I like. Don't you dare. Back your ass up away from Sansa, you sicko. I'm a little worried about this. Sansa, do not let Littlefinger get inside of your head. Because Sir Devils isn't there. And Sir Devils is, is somebody that could actually be a helpful advisor to her. Oh, gosh. Please, please. John, hurry back. What's wrong with the horse? Is somebody about to try to attack her here? A bunch of wolves? <gasps> is it what is it her wolf is one of them hers is that the one that got away when she was young but she let it she let it go Amiria? oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my goodness the wolfie i'm heading north girl come with me Oh, she's gonna turn around and leave, isn't she? No. Oh, Nymeria. <laughs> I could cry buckets of tears right now. Oh my God! That's not you. So, you're gonna be queen of the Iron Islands. And what will you be, handsome? My protector. Oh, I see. So if someone gets too close to you... You might have to intervene. Until they've made their intentions known. <laughs> oh, shit! I was living for that, by the way. <laughs> They're being attacked by who? Is this by Euron and them? Euron. Yup, it is. Oh shit, he just killed somebody with that? This is not good. Oh no, oh no. Yara better not die. They're gonna kill some major people here. I feel it, they're gonna kill somebody that we love. That's right. Yes, get the asses. I feel like they're gonna die though. The sisters and the mother. 
Damn, their entire fleet! Damn, she's about to die. She's about to die. Damn. Oh no! You and this whip girl, kill him! Stop slicing! Oh my gosh, girl. Damn, they're about to die! Wow. Is he gonna kill her right here? I don't wanna watch it, y'all. I don't wanna watch it, y'all. I don't want y'all to die. No. Oh my gosh, this was wild. I mean, Theon wasn't gonna be able to do anything for her in that position anyway. And he had no backup. Damn, they laid that entire fleet to waste. Okay, y'all, so that was episode two of Game of Thrones. A great episode. <laughs> um, Yeah, I really enjoyed that episode. These first two episodes were, were good. I mean, the first one was like the, the start of a new season. So they're just setting the stage for a lot. And then this episode... I feel like we were actually progressing some stories and the ending was amazing with uh, with Euron um, attacking um, attacking Yara and uh, well Yara is really because she's the the queen well she was she was because she's taken hostage now I'm assuming um, I just want to keep her alive to for for leverage or, of some sort but I feel like she's going to end up dying um but yeah, they attacked the their entire fleet, and it's a wrap for them for now, at least. That sucks because that was a big, like, damn. That was one of Daenerys's biggest allies was the was the, the Greyjoys, at least a portion of the Greyjoy army that they did have, um, and this that was their ships. So like, damn, what now? Yoran really came full force and got their asses. How did he stick up on them like that with that big ass ship? Y'all didn't see no ship coming? Come on. Damn, that's really unfortunate. I'm glad we didn't have to see Yara die. I'm sad that two of the sisters died because I wanted to see more of them beating ass, but it's cool. It's all right. Uh, we didn't see a ton of them already, so it wasn't like it was a, a huge emotional punch there. Um, the, the other, uh, talk about emotional punch, Nymeria and Arya. I feel like that was Nymeria. Arya ended up saying, that's not you. And I'm like, what does that mean? Hmm. But I'm going to say it was her because that makes me feel good inside. <laughs> that makes me feel good about myself. John is going to Dragonstone. Um, I think I'm just so... I'm ready to see all of these stories come together, to see all these characters meet for the first time. Like, I'm a fangirl for that, the same way I did for when Tyrion met, met uh, Daenerys for the first time. Oh, even when they're just on screen, they're that close together. I'm just going to be like, oh my God, uh, Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen? Like, what? <laughs> what? And then, since Melisandre's there, the devil's going to have a fit. He's going to have a fit when he get there. Unless she's gone for some reason. But I don't see her leaving. But you can't do nothing because she's not in the North anymore. Um, What else? I was about to say something else. Damn it. Well, I was going to say something else. But Sansa being left in charge has me nervous. I would trust Sansa if it wasn't for Littlefinger. And she doesn't trust Littlefinger. But I still don't. I'm still not fully all the way convinced that... That if something came up, she wouldn't allow him to advise her. Right? 
Like, you better take advice from Ellie from The Last of Us before you take advice from him. Please. And I'm serious about that, because she be out, she's been out here ruling her for her house. <laughs> Repping for her house, so she knows what she's talking about. Um, damn, I keep forget, I forget what I was going to mention before about something that happened in this episode. Oh, Jorah. I want to see what happens there. Like, was, is he going to actually be able to cure him? Like, that would be deep. That's a That was a lot of infected skin and tissue. So, to rip it all away would take a lot of time. It, it, oh my gosh, the pain. It, it was so disgusting. But, oh, I'm, if we're able to actually cure Jorah, I would be surprised. Because I thought he was, I already thought he was going to die. And something, something in me is still, something is still telling me that he's still, that he's gonna die sooner than others, but I could be wrong. And I'll be happy, I'm happy to be proven wrong in that regard. I know that I used to come for Jorah a little bit, <laughs> but I don't hate him. I just felt like he was, you know, all of the, the puppy dog face for Daenerys was getting a little old for me, but I think we're kind of past it. He loves her. That's cool. Um, I like him more than like Dario. So, <laughs> and Dario's gone. Yes, until he comes back. He's not gone for good, I'm sure, but he's good. He's gone for now, which I appreciate. One at a time. Um, but yeah, overall, really strong start to the season, I think. Not really strong, but a strong start. You know, as, um, other seasons, I think have, some other seasons have started off where I was like, damn, this is really crazy. And this one is starting off like, this is really going to be interesting. It's going to be really good. So I'm really excited to see where we go next. Let me know what you thought when you first saw these episodes when they aired. Um, I know y'all must have felt relieved after the, the season finale that was season six to get to the start of season seven. Y'all had to experience years between seasons. I had a few days. <laughs> Got you. No, I'm just playing. Uh, <laughs> so let me know what you thought about this episode, what about you thought about the reaction. Um, and let's talk down below in the comments. Besides so that, I think we're good to go. I will catch y'all in the next two episodes. Peace.